This is how we introduce the crate to our pup. So we start off by throwing a treat inside the crate. And as soon as our pup has got all four paws inside the crate, we then use our marker yes, and, sh and they come to us to come get a reward. We are just building up a positive environment around the crate, a positive experience with the crate, so they enjoy going in and out of the crate. So our next part of crate training is just shutting the door behind them. And this time we're gonna reward the calmness. So once our pup is calm, we're gonna open the door, use our yes marker, and then give them their reward. And again, we are rewarding the calmness of them being in the crate. Next we move on to just having our pup into that crate a little bit longer and locking the door behind them just giving them a few more seconds in the crate on their own. Again, we are really looking to reward the calmness of our dog here. Once I'm happy with how calm and steady the dog is, I will open the gate, use my yes marker and give them their reward. For the last part of my crate training, I like to introduce the pup into what we call threshold training. We want to keep our pup safe, and if the crate is in the back of the car, we don't want our puppy bursting out of the crate onto a main road, okay? So it's all about keeping our pup safe. This teacher the dog, just because the crate door has been opened, isn't an invitation for you to exit the crate. They again must wait for our command or our cues, and then we can reward them like so. We will use threshold training in other parts of our pups like like the front and back door, in and out of car and so on and so on. You can see here it also helps us strengthen that weight or stay command as well.